Sheriff's Office wanted to give you an afternoon update on our Goltra fire. I just came from a briefing, so I'm going to stare at my notes, but uh, our major objective today was to gain portions of containment throughout our perimeter. Um, seems pretty obvious. We, we've had a good day, a very good day, according to our incident commander. I wish I could give you some containment, but I can't, not right now. They won't give that to us until we're, we're later into the evening and we really have good, solid information. Uh, obviously, we're still doing drops with the helicopters. We still have a lot of teams out on this fire. Um, the last MMA flyover was 204 acres. There will not be another flyover today, uh, but we're asking for another one tomorrow just to see what happens with the fire throughout the night. Uh, we do expect to have similar numbers and similar assets available to us tomorrow. It'll look a lot like today, but we don't know that we're going to need any fire resource. Or, I'm sorry, any air resources on this. So um, that's good news. Um, but they will be available if they're needed. Uh, we will have two engines monitoring the fire throughout the night, um, just doing patrols, checking the fire lines, just to make sure that everything that we the work that we've done so, so far is holding. Um, we have done multiple drops of water tonight. Uh, lots and lots of water on this fire, uh, which you can tell just by looking at it, we're in a better place than we were this morning. Winds have calmed. Uh, the fire forecast that we, or the weather forecast, I'm sorry, um, is that we're supposed to be about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow. That's always a help, along with more humidity um, and potentially some moisture. So all of that just helps. Um, we still have some uh, burning along the west side of this fire, down toward the road. Um, it's burning in the shrubs and the grasses, and uh, it, it definitely is burned down to the road in some places. You'll see that when we open it back up. Um, there will not be an, an opening of this, uh, this canyon tonight at all. Uh, I think our hope is to get you some uh, better information about possibly opening that up tomorrow afternoon. So we still have some work to do. Um, we also wanted to let you know that we, just based on the work that's being done today, pretty incredible. And we don't anticipate any pre-evacuations, any evacuations as a result of the work that's been done. So again, very good news. And that's what I have for an update. Jackie, pretty popular recreation area. Yes. We do. I mean, this is access to a lot of great places to recreate up in the mountains. I can tell you that some of those open space trails need to be checked to make sure that they're going to be open because they're not all open right now. So just pay attention um, and check the websites, contact open space so that you know where you can go and where you can't this weekend. I apologize. Do you suspect lightning? Yeah, I mentioned that this morning. Uh, this is this is a result of a lightning strike. We actually have witnesses who saw the lightning hit the top of the mountain, and then very shortly thereafter, we had fire. So we feel very confident this was this was uh, Mother Nature. We have about 65 boots on the ground, and uh, the Jeffco Incident Management Team is monitoring the fire. It's a little bit of water. Just yes, felt that. Right <laughs> uh, speaking of those helicopters, um, I know obviously that's been a, a great help today. Is there a, a reason why that wasn't deployed yesterday at all to, to be used? Yeah, it, it's a great question. Uh, due to the hour that this all happened, this, this happened late yesterday, we needed to formulate a plan, get resources into this area, and we had a small window of, of light left in the day to really do the work that, that we wish we, we could have done. Um, we are always looking at um, what are the values at risk? What are the things that we need to, to bring in those extra resources, resources for? And it's watershed and it's water supply, it's homes, it's things like that, that, that infrastructure. Um, and none of those things applied last night and they still don't. So we have to be a good steward of taxpayer dollars um, order what we need and, and not get ahead of ourselves. And that was the decision that was made last night. We stand behind that decision. Um, and the resources are here today and we're doing the good work. And it's been a good day. Jackie, I know you can't give us any containment, but uh, there has been a lot of progress made. No question. We feel confident.
confident in the direction that we're moving. I wish I could give you containment. It'll come later tonight in the form of a tweet. Um, but the helicopters have done great work. The boots on the ground are doing even better work. It's a, it's a combination, it's a team effort, and uh, all that we hoped would happen today is happening. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, I didn't even realize that uh, he flies overhead and 30 seconds later he's in the water. Um, and having water that close for um, our air support is fantastic. Um, and this is uh, Golden, cooperation from Golden letting us use that water supply, which is fantastic. Teamwork once again. But to have them that close is they're on the fire and they're filling up and they're on the fire and they're filling up. And they've done so much of that today. It's been great. I think that we're comfortable with what we have on scene today. We're comfortable with where what we look like tomorrow morning when we kick it off again. I think we're feeling really good. And we're not competing with any other fires right now. So we've been well supported. Um, there's just been no issues at all. I know there's a lot of growth overnight too. I know you kind of spoke about that this morning. Right. Um, can you kind of touch on that again and kind of, I guess, what you guys expect tonight? I mean, I know last night was unexpected. But... It was. I mean, the fire initially, I think, did what we hoped that it would do. It kind of lays down at night. Humidities go up and, and what happened, we had wind coming down this canyon uh, that, that kicked up the fire and, and it made a pretty good run. And, and that was a bit unexpected, but we had those some resources um, here all night. You just can't really fight fire very well at night. And you can see how steep this terrain is. This is as bad as, as the Cory Fire. Um, we're still dealing with, the firefighters said that this terrain is even more difficult. Every step is, is crumbly rock. Um, we actually have some debris along the roadway just as a result of moving around on this mountainside. So there's gonna be some cleanup to do, but it did race last night and, and we got the resources we needed to hit it hard this morning. With that said, with, if we get moisture, and you said some of the fire ran down to the road, I think I started thinking ahead and you know, <coughs> rains and watershed and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, and that's, that's another great question to talk about how we're going to manage this when we get bigger rains and, and what that looks like along the roadway and into the, into the water supply. Um, I, I don't know that I have those answers for you now, but that is in the front of our mind. We're already having discussions about how we're going to mitigate some of that. It's ongoing. Well, it's pretty frustrating to have two back to back. This is a smaller fire. It's very close to homes. Uh, this causes a lot of people concern. Um, it makes everyone nervous. We went into fire restrictions, then we went into a fire ban. Just yesterday morning, we pulled that back and went back into restrictions. So we are a little bit less restrictive yesterday on what people can do in the county. But it's a, it's a never ending reminder that you live in Colorado. This is the front range and it's not just Jeffco, it's Douglas. It's, it's the whole front range that is is dealing with the concerns about how dry it is and how dangerous it is. So it's always in our mind. We wish we hadn't had a second fire. Uh, we don't know if this fire season, is it really ever over? We're pretty convinced it's not. So we're always paying attention. It's obviously a major entryway here into getting to Black Hawk and Central City. Mm -hmm. Have you guys had any issues with people like trying to go this way, any traffic issues, anything like that? We have had some people want to, want to come up this road and go right past these cones. Uh, they've been stopped, um, and, and I know this, this is a really important roadway for a lot of people, um, but this is the right thing to do. It's a safe thing to do. Um, yeah, it's a long way around, and it just needs to be that way, hopefully, for just one more day. I know the last fire, you had a lot of issues with people flying their drones over property in the yeah. area. I know there aren't a lot of properties here, but are you having that issue of people launching drones trying to see the fire or anything? We have not had any issues at all with uh, random drones that we don't know who, who owns them or who they are. I think my guess is that we have we don't have anything but grass and hillside and mountain on fire. And so there's this town, Golden, is very concerned about this fire and rightfully so. Uh, but there are no values at risk. And so I think maybe a little less interest from just your, your random person who wants to fly up here. No issues. Any other questions? What okay. Is your, what, I'm sorry, what does your weather people or your fuel moisture people tell you about how much rain will it take to not put out the fire but eliminate the threat? Any idea? 
I think that it, the air support that we have on this and the boots on the ground, they're taking care of that threat right now as we speak. Uh, it, it's always great to have moisture. But the work that's getting done and the confidence that we have, is that's all as a result of this operation and the people who are here today. So yeah, moisture's good, um, but that's probably not what's gonna put out this fire. It's gonna be the people who are here doing the work. Okay. Yep. Do you know when the next stressor will be, just for our crews after all? That's a great question. I hate to bring everyone together when I don't have much to say. Uh, so we'll monitor closely, and I promise we'll put it up on Twitter so that you've got time to get here, and, and hopefully we just have another great night and a great day, and we can put this to bed. Thank you so much.